Hey guys, welcome back once again to Blocks Fruit, where today we are gonna first see what deal this has if any of these buttons decide they want to work. <gasps> we got another light fruit. I actually don't know if I have storage space for that. Do I even have storage space for that? I don't. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. I hate to throw a fruit like that away though. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Ugh. Oh, 1,300 meters away, can we teleport to a closer place than that? Or do I really need to transition to just running? Uh, 900. How far are you? Ooh, 1,600. No. Let's go from the castle. Great. Great. As you guys can see, I did finish my dark step. Yes, but I did not have enough frags to get the death step. So... Superhuman, literally brand new. Yes, I have not even punched one single enemy with this yet. We are gonna just start brand new, and you see that special little two times right there. Yes, Minnie has gifted us the two times mastery, which means we are finally gonna start really like moving these numbers. Yes, look at that Buddha mastery too. I just Decided to go a little silly. I got my Buddha leap, the uh, the legendary belly flop of the Buddha, the legendary belly flop. For whatever reason, we belly flop, and soon we will explode. For whatever reason, we will explode. But for now, I guess I'm gonna make my way to the giant boat island thing, and I'll see you there. Okay, finally over here to the reborn skeletons. Ooh, let's see. Where are they? Are they the ones that are over here in the graveyard? Are they the ones that I was punching in the graveyard before? Punching and kicking and everything? Okay, superhuman. And what exactly are we even doing? I don't see that we do that all that much. Ow! Hit me? Oh, wait. It would help so much if I actually turned on my aura. Yeah, my aura. That is a lot of level ups. That is a lot of mastery level ups. Wow. Okay. Let's keep it going. And this on for a little extra effect. Over here, so I punch some more of you. Over here, so I get that third guy over there. Oh, we are moving good now. Okay. 103. We're only six enemies down. Okay. A couple more of these reborn skeletons. Over here. Yeah, get you stuck against the fence for silly reasons. Come on, right there. And the beast owl pounce. What does this do? Oh, oh, that's a lot of hits. That is a lot of hits. Wow. Okay, get to a point where that does a lot of damage, and that's gonna be just wild amounts. Wild numbers just flying like crazy. Okay. Oh, uh, we more skeletons. Yes. Okay. Eight more. And now we can actually get bones in quests. Yes. Got 26 of them. I don't know how many we just picked up from beating those guys, but I'm sure it was more than none. It was definitely more than none. In fact, I know it was more than none because I saw purple writing. Yeah, see? Purple writing. One bone. We got the bone. Okay, none from that. Definitely get some from these guys if I can actually hit them. There we go. There we go. None from him. There we go. Two from him. Good. You. All right, here we go. One more. Oh, we are rolling in the bones. Look at that. Look at that, and a level up. Okay, turn this off because I actually don't like the instinct and the way that it just like uh, whatever color negative effect everything on your screen. I don't really like that. Born skeleton. See, and without it. Or with it on, I never would have noticed that this guy had a Jason mask. Neat. And a uh, Freddy 
sweater. Huh. Strange little combo, but okay. I like it. I like it. It's very uh, Halloween themed, like the island. Very nice. Very nice. I approve. I do approve. It has nothing to do with One Piece, but I approve anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. Ray. There we go. Okay, this is very helpful for locating enemies, though. As much as I don't like the way that it shades the entire planet, it is very, very helpful to have. It is. After you actually locate them, though, you can just do that and not have to see the world like that anymore. You got another little group. Just gonna get a whole group going again. That way, I get all the mastery and the bones that I can all at once. Okay, good, very good, very very good. We are just blowing through mastery, like it is no contest at all anymore. Let's accept because we are probably actually going to get to like mastery 300 before we even get to 2000 over here this guy's halfway stuck in the ground he is literally half stuck in the ground he can't even get to me oh but he can attack me though and then get himself out of the ground he was fooling us the whole time guys he was just pretending to be stuck in the ground to make us think that we were safe just so that he could get up start kicking us like crazy and then pop out of the ground and chase us shenanigans I call shenanigans shenanigans okay this guy then I think yeah we're gonna need one of these over here that just respond which is not a problem at all cause this guy right here is perfect Look at him. Oh. <laughs> we just blew through him. He he didn't even get hit. He he just we passed him too fast and he he like exploded into bones. The little bones that he was. I don't I don't know, okay? I don't know. Boom boop boop ba doo. See that's one weird thing about the fighting styles in Roblox is as much as they have their little differences they also have the exact same like rhythmic uh, style to them and I don't know if that's like intentional or what I mean it could be intentional based on like uh, what races in the show like came up with the styles or whatever so I mean there could be reasons behind it uh, canonically but as far as like listening to it like as you just punch stuff over and over for hours on end man you start to really notice like the tune of these punches like you you keep the rhythm okay, 189 on mastery like we are definitely getting ma fully mastered superhuman in no time at all two episodes from now at best at absolute best that's if I don't do any grinding outside of recording if I do grinding outside of the recording man next episode might be a different fighting style man wouldn't that be something just blow through it like nothing at all oh that guy literally just came flying out of nowhere I don't even know where he came from somewhere behind me okay, over here good both of you and I don't even know where the next guys are I don't I see possessed mummies down there I see the demonic souls up here these guys are 1975 the other ones 2025 so where's the 2000s somewhere on the other side of the garden I guess probably probably In fact yeah I see them living zombies 2000s. There we go. I found them. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be, guys. Way easier. Well, get off. Get off the guy that gives you the quests. 
He has no reason to talk to you anymore. He doesn't. If he did, he would let you know. He would. Get him. 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 Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. There we go. There we go. Three more up here. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. And then... Drink back up here for this one. Like that. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Oh, yeah. That... Another red bar. Yes. Because the superhuman must be absolutely satiated with its entirety of its mastery level. Yes. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. And based on the way that this one fights and the different little abilities that it has and everything, I am very interested to see what God Human is going to be like. Because I hear it's just like an upgraded version of this. Based on how I've seen the upgrade version of things go so far, that really intrigues me. It really does. Because this, honestly, the whole superhuman thing, it kind of re like reminds me of the um, six powers thing, the, like finger pistol and all that. But the beast style pounce, I I'm not sure what. That is supposed to be exactly. So I'm interested to see the Thunderclap and the Conqueror gun. See what kind of weird crazy powers we're supposed to be getting by the end of this. And if God Human is really just an upgraded version of this, then... You know, what, what kind of abilities is it going to have then? There's just so many possibilities at this point. There really is. It's just really cool. It's like super amazing. It like just how many different things have been put in the game. Like from what I recognize of the show and things that I don't recognize, and just all types of different things. Let's see, oh, we got it. We got it. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought it was actually gonna be like kind of like the. Uh, the thing where it's gonna like clap in front of us or whatever. That's a thing. Well, the thing does it too. Um, Hulk. The thing doesn't do it nearly as much though. I don't know why he's the one I thought of. I should be ashamed of myself. My comic book, uh, whatever nerd self inside, it should be ashamed of me. Give me that. Give me that. Mr. Death King. Yeah, I do. You better give me something good this time. Don't don't waste my bones. Oh, I got a bear, some bear ears. What are the bear ears? Oh, oh, bear ears. <laughs> oh, cool. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I've got to figure out what all these different accessories that I have started compiling even do. Because right now I'm just holding on to a ton of accessories that I have no idea what they do. Um, now I like never wear them, never use them or anything. I just keep my ghoul mask on like at all times. It makes me feel safe. Okay? I like my ghoul mask. People don't mess with me when I wear my ghoul mask. They think I got weird fang teeth. So they just leave me alone. It goes well with my horns. The horns that are growing out of my skull. Yeah, those ones. Come on. There we go. Wait for you. Where's your other guy? Oh, he's over there. He's just way over there. Why are you way over there, guy? Did you get banished out of town? Did the others get mad at you for something? Did you commit some horrible crime that you're afraid to tell some rando marine that came strolling into your town and is like trying to take over stuff about? Because I would understand that. Yeah, I really would. 
Whether you think I would or not, I would. I would. Yeah. You know. So let's let's go. <laughs> I need a thing to support my hand while I'm trying to play the game because my goodness, I feel like I'm getting carpal tunnel in my wrist. Uh, this chair does not ever get any more comfortable. Oh, I want a gaming area. Gaming setup. Be nice. Really would. Oh, well. Someday. Maybe. That guy just came flying out of the window. That was unexpected, but helpful. Absolutely unexpected, but completely helpful. I see you little reborn skeleton, I see you trying to... Are you stuck in the ground again? He is. Okay, well I have a freedom from his eternal torment in the ground. But, you know, at what cost, man? At what cost? 91 million experience for this, so this will knock us two levels up. If I'm not mistaken. Which I think I know how to count. I might not. But I think I do. Get him, get him. There we go. Yes. Mastery is just going up like crazy. I, I love how fast my mastery grows now. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. There we go. Chew two. Boom. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. Okay, good. This guy's just gonna break dance in the sky. It's fine. I don't know why he would want to break dance in the sky, but he did, and that's the that's how it ended for him. So lesson learned, don't break dance in the sky because gravity recognizes you anyway. Reborn skeletons. Not reborn no more. They double dead. Double downed. Oop. Come on. Such progress that is still feeling like is moving slowly because, you know, how many times have you got to click one button on the controller or on the mouse at this point? Or in this case. There we go in this case hooray Oop. oh that was all over there for over there there's not all entirely boom yes look at that 250 250 on the superhuman mastery already told you guys we are gonna be passing 300 before we pass 2000 we are I know that's how counting works. You you pass 300 long before you ever pass 2,000, but we are talking about leveling numbers, not just basic counting numbers anymore. No, 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 no. This is about levels. Leveling is a lot different than counting. Trust me. If you don't believe me, then try a game where you have to level something up. See if going one, two, three, four, five is anywhere near as easy as it should be it's not it's just not it is not it's not as pepper would say it's not there we go there we go boom 255 1994 amazing year absolutely amazing year best year of my life In case you didn't know, that's the year I was born, by the way. Boop, boop, ba -doop. Bon. Boom. How many bones does that even bring me up to? Did I just run around rambling and just beating up random enemies? Yeah, yeah, you got all my dodges done that's what I needed you to do 
I need you to take away all my dodges so that I can level up and get more dodges. This is like every thousand dodges you get another dodge. I'm up to like five now. Six. How many do I even have? Oh, I'll just don't even dodge one then for me to even find out. Not like I wanted to learn how many I have anyway. I was just questioning myself for no reason, I guess. this guy out of the ground there we go 1995 and 260 on the levels on the mastery levels can I there there we go reborn again I know this it's absolute repetition of it all man I, I like it but man does it have to just be so repetitive just constantly like at some point I know I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be like max level I'm never gonna have to click again in this game but man man clicking all the way there is it worth it I know I should just get an auto clicker but I don't know it it feels cheatsy to me okay I don't like using auto clickers unless I actually want to cheat the game if I want to cheat the game, then all bets are off. I'm using whatever I want. But I don't want to cheat this game. I don't. I could, but I don't. Boom. More level up. Uh, was that a mastery level up? It was a mastery level up. We also got three bones from that one single enemy. That is amazing. Those bones are going to go a long way towards me trying to get another hat of some kind that I've never heard of that is going to be completely useless to me because it's going to sit on a shelf and collect dust. Yes, that's what your your little uh, hats that I collect for bones are going to end up doing. It's just sitting around wasting space. And that's okay. It's okay because your, your little ear hat things for your bare ear hats they're, they're a little creepy. Some people might think you, you know, got them from actual bears, not not from some pirate that ate a bear fruit. Like, what, what kind of crazy person would actually want to wear clothes made from animals and not just, you know, animal-human hybrids? That's, that's just absolutely insane. Oh, hey, there's Minnie. I didn't even know somebody had joined me. Hi, Minnie. When did you even get here? Hi. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. I didn't know you were here. Neat. I have friends on Roblox that are in, in the game. I am on a private server, so the fact that anyone is here, you know, is kind of just, whoa, for me. <laughs> but it is Minnie's server, so it is not surprising at all that Minnie would be here whatsoever. Um, let's see how many bones do I have? Many wants to know. Let me get this one enemy off my little bomb real quick. 48. 48. 48. 48 bones. Unfortunately, only 48. I'm not even sure what item we are supposed to be trying to get from the uh, guy over here. They just said come over here and just keep rolling on him anytime I have the bones. I'm like, okay. Can do. I might not know what to do, but I know how to just do whatever somebody tells me to do. That, that's something I can do. Punch the skeleton. That I can do. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Like that. No problem. No problem. And then, with this other skeleton, boom got one bone okay one more level and then we can get the living zombies kill all we are going to go absolutely wild on this whole haunted park wish I could get up to the top of that mass though man if I could get all the way up to the top of that the belly flop I would do from there man I would break like three miles into the earth's mantle and accidentally knock a mountain out of the ocean on the other side of the planet it would be amazing 
just all of a sudden this island just juts up out of nowhere and just keeps rising. They're like, what happened there? Oh, well, you see, that's where Factory belly flopped on the other side of the planet one day. He thought it'd be funny. Massive earthquakes and tidal waves ensued across the whole, whole place. Oh, I must pray. Yes. Sorry, I forgot. I must, I must pray. Oh. Nothing. Oh. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. Oh, I got fire essence. Fire essence. Fire essence. You can get dragon talon? <gasps> I can get dragon talon? Wait, what? Hold up. How? What? What? Hold on. What? Just like that? That's all I needed to do? Was just get a medic. Wait, where are you? Where are you going, Minnie? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Up here? Further? Further? How much further? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, okay. Uzoth. Hello? What's good? Hi. I'd like to learn the Dragon Talon fighting style. For three million and five uh, thousand frags. Allows manipulation of fire. Attack your opponents with it. Also has three special attacks. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yep. We're still going to need frags. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Still need frags. Unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Well, that is okay because now we know where to get it we know we are able to get it as well good okay so up at the thing there the guy okay okay I think I'll still re be able to remember that I think maybe maybe that is absolutely amazing though we are able to get it now. All we need is frags. We've got way more money than we need, but we need frags. Okay. Okay. That is good. So, after this, then we can start building up on frags. We can get the Dragon Talon. We can get the Death Step. And then we can go for the God Human. So, now everything is starting to come into place now it's all about frag harvesting that's all we need to worry about now is just getting as many frags as we can the next guys yeah they're over there uh, let's give me a living zombie and we'll at least battle one of them before the end of all these let's see get it there over there go big go very big 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 mode Big, big mode. Beat them all up for big mode. These guys do what? He says do this. Do what? Wait, what? I have no idea what he's talking about. Do what? I don't know, Minnie. You just said this. What is this? 
I don't know what this is. Watch out, you got enemies all around you, Minnie. Watch out. Don't do that. Oh, whoa. Haha. -ha. Yeah, if you jump, Buddha gets the mastery. He said, never mind, just do what you're doing. What? What? What did I do? Hold up, what? Oh! Oh! Just gather them all up and kill them. I get that. I do, but then you gotta wait for them all to like respawn and stuff. Which, I mean, it ain't really a problem. Man. It's, it's just. It's like an inconvenience, if anything. <laughs> uh -oh. No, not the little zombies. Beat them all up. Beat them all up. Yay. Okay. Well, guys, I know these episodes just seem like we just come in just to beat up a couple of dozen squadrons of enemies and then we just like walk off but guys we we doing good this time we do we got we got the belly flop can i do the oh i can't do the belly flop there's a boss that you can spawn here a boss you can spawn a boss how do you spawn a boss what kind of witchcraft are you mentioning brother you can roll a hollow essence and then you can spawn a boss from the bone guy. Oh. Oh, cool. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay. But yes, we made some progress today. We have gotten our belly flop. We have gone and gotten superhuman. We have figured out how we are going to get the dragon talon. We even got the uh, little fire essence and went and unlocked the ability to get it. All we need is frags. And I think that through grinding all over on this island and getting a bunch of stuff that we can actually successfully get the amount of frags that we need and not have to worry too much about that Let's see can we get oh no just a little higher a little higher up no no don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall there we go don't fall all the way down I want to do the absolute biggest belly flop that I can come on come on yes yes from all the way up top I know I can't get all the way up there though I want to go all the way up top if I ever could but I just can't belly flop oh I didn't even hit the ground <laughs> Minnie's just like oh where'd you go oh okay Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and let them know that you saw the biggest Buddha belly flop ever. Ever. Until I get to the very top of that thing, that is the biggest yet ever. And it will remain as such. Yes. Okay. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.